Barely any people order the esteem and acknowledgement that Steve Irwin does charming and profoundly energetic the 44-year-old was a worldwide legend known for his unrelenting energy and information on natural life as a serious natural life protectionist and TV big name, Irwin went through his time on Earth, catching the miracles of nature naturally introduced to a group of traditionalist Irwin's childhood, was submerged in the realm of untamed. Life is folks Lynn and Sway Irwin, established the Queensland Reptile in Fauna Park, imparting in him a significant love an understanding remaining of creatures since the beginning under his dad's direction. Irwin improved his abilities in taking care of reptiles fostering a specific interest with crocodiles. Irwin's energy for untamed life arrived at new levels when he encountered Terry Rawls, an individual naturalist from Oregon. Their quick relationship finished in marriage in 1992 and they before long invited two youngsters Bindy Sue and Robert Clarence the Defining moment came when Chief John Stanton proposed archiving Irwin and R as trying ventures in getting and saving crocodiles. This prompted the making of the noteworthy series, The Crocodile Tracker, which dazzled crowd. Overall, Irwin's distinction saw making him a global sensation anyway. On September 4, 2006, misfortune struck. While having some time off from shooting a narrative series, Irwin ended up in Bat Reef confronting the blustery components of nature. Much to his dismay, this would be his. Dad last experience recording had stopped as Steve joined by his believed cameraman Justin Lyons, wandered into the unfamiliar waters of the maritime wild Steve had his sights set on catching some really stunning. Film for his little girl's impending narrative series Bindi the wilderness young lady, with the sun starting to plunge underneath the skyline, they set out in an inflatable from the primary boat, wanting to coincidentally find something uncommon as they moved into shallow waters Steve's sharp eye saw a short followed stingray floating underneath the surface, charmed by the animal's magnificence. Steve chose to seek, after it planning to catch the ideal went for his girl's narrative, the stingray he experienced was no conventional animal it was a short followed stingray prestigious for its venomous tail equipped for causing deadly wounds with a wingspan assessed at around 2m and an unmistakable circle molded body covered with dull spots and stripes it was something else notwithstanding their regularly docile nature short followed stingrays could turn forceful when incited it confused steve's shadow with that of a tiger shark a characteristic hunter, the stingray's conduct moved quickly instantly, it turned out to be wildly cautious, releasing a whirlwind of hostility as Steve drew nearer. In only seconds, the scene transformed into a bad dream. Justin Lyons, the cameraman, described seeing the stingray rage sending off many strikes in a solitary moment Steve and his team were frail against the tenacious attack, blood spouted from Steve's chest at first accepted to have penetrated just. His lungs, however, unfortunately, his heart had likewise been pierced at this point in the midst of the disorder. The camera continued to move. It was a standard Steve lived by filmed, constantly, not even in. That frame of mind of risk as Steve struggled demise his group. Kept on recording, each horrifying second biographer, Timmy Donovan reviewed Steve's insistence that he generally told individuals I would be grieved assuming no one got my demise on tape in agony, and Dread Steve shouted, I'm passing on, I'm biting the dust perceiving the weightiness of the circumstance the team got a move on Steve, back to the well-being of the inflatable boat. Wildly they controlled crisis treatment, frantically attempting to stem the draining, however the injury was too profound too. Serious Justin Lyon reviews. I'm shouting, at one of the other team in the boat, to put their hand over the injury. And we're telling him things like, hold tight on hold tight tight, or tight of their earnest attempts. It was past the point of no return after arriving at the close by low eyes's medical clinic Steve was proclaimed dead there. News sent shockwaves all over the planet, as the dearest Australian crocodile tracker had met his troublesome end, 
during a standard plunging undertaking close to Port Douglas Justin Lyons, pondered the misfortune uncovering that regardless of whether they had arrived at a crisis ward in time, the harm to Steve's heart was excessively broad to save him the conditions encompassing in Steve Irwin's demise, added a shocking layer of secret intensified by his last words caught on film as John Stone portrayed Steve's last discourse for the little screen, the world grieved the passing of a genuine natural. Life symbol, the awfulness of Steve Irwin's passing, transformed him into a global legend, yet it was joined by strange feelings and secrets that proceed right up to the present day in a meeting with them. I have news for you digital broadcast John Stone uncovered that Steve gave a disturbing discourse just a brief time prior to shooting started. It was a strange last assertion saying, thanks to the group for their commitments to his exploration campaign, leaving a disrupting feeling of destruction stone owned up to a pestering sensation of disquiet before the mishap and intuition that something was not right in spite of his doubts. He continued onward mindful of life's eccentric, exciting bends in the road as a matter. Of fact, Stone admitted to having hunches of his own end during the excursion endeavouring fruitlessly to stop creation clinical examinations and the drafting of a will featured the weightiness of the circumstance yet disclosure station continued recording the occasions of that game-changing day. Caught on camera for the narrative C's deadliest remained, covered in secret the tapes gave over to. Experts for examination ultimately got back to revelation correspondences. Anyway, the whereabouts of the recording, portraying Steve's terrible end stay, obscure John Staten Irwin's nearest comrade communicated. Hesitance. In truly delivering the recording, a feeling shared by the others too, in spite of Steve's widow Terry, guaranteeing that the narrative distributed highlighted no recording from the day of his passing there, his boundless discussion about the presence and destiny of the slippery tape some estimate that that it was obliterated while others accept it is as yet stowed away a demonstration of the confounding conditions encompassing Steve Irwin's troublesome downfall reality. It appears stays as tricky as the animal Steve committed his life to securing. Just Lyons, the narrative's cameraman, has stubbornly voiced his resistance to its delivery reports, proposed that both Irwin's group and Revelation Channel arrived at a shared understanding never to disclose the tape on September 9, 2006, a public dedication administration was held at. Australia Zoo went to buy grievers, whose tears demonstrated the veracity of the significant effect Steve had on their lives his girl Bindi only eight years of age, at the time conveyed a genuine recognition considering her dad's faithful help and his getting through mission all. Preservation Daddy was my legend. She declared her voice shudder with feeling when I see a crocodile. I will constantly think about him. Daddy made this zoo his entire life, and presently, it's our chance to help Daddy following the public assistance. Steve Irwin was let go in a confidential function. The area of his entombment site, painstakingly monitored, at the family's solicitation, Terry Steve's widow really wants to keep his last resting place undisclosed keeping in mind for their protections, regardless of the sad misfortune Steve's heritage lives on through his family's proceeded with devotion to untamed life protection, the finish of the narrative sees deadliest without film of the mishap, denoted a clashing second in respecting Steve's memory recognitions from political pioneers and a generous overflow of help from fans additionally highlighted the significant effect he had on the world Terry Irwin took, on the position of Australia Zoo's activity relentless in her obligation to encouraging Steve. Preservation endeavours her backing has earned boundless acknowledgement, including esteemed respects from the Australian government, confirming her as a reference point of motivation in the field of natural life protection Bindi Irwin, emulating her dad's example has arisen as a conspicuous figure in Australian TV, supporting the reason for preservation and training wedded and presently a mother herself. She keeps on maintaining her family's heritage 
guaranteeing that Steve's enthusiasm for untamed life live lives on through her work and promotion in the meantime. Robert Irwin Steve's child has embraced his dad's heritage with enthusiasm cutting out his own way as a TV character and moderate in spite of his young age, at the hour of Steve's passing Robert stays focused on regarding his dad's memory carrying on his work at Australia Zoo and pass through. Their aggregate endeavours, the Irwin family fills in as an encouraging sign and motivation conveying forward Steve's tradition of sympathy devotion and steady obligation to the security of untamed life and their territories.